The number of gang members in the Green Bay area may be double what it was just six years ago, but police say they're not focused on the numbers. They're focused on the crimes associated with gangs. And tonight, Fox 11 investigates as an inside look at gangs. And Robert Hornchick joins us now with a preview. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Pete. You know, nobody knows exactly how many gangs or gang members there are in Green Bay, but police say there may be as many as 1,000 gang members in the area. Mm -hmm. I sat down with one former gang member to talk about what gangs in Green Bay are really like. When you meet 21-year-old Aaron Olson, you can't help but notice his face. It's covered with tattoos. Most of them I got when I was drunk. Olson says he got many of his tattoos during his time with the Gangster Disciples. Despite his Gangster Disciple tattoos, Olson says he's no longer involved in the gang. He agreed to talk with Fox 11 investigates about gangs in the area. Green Bay is not as tough as people want it to be. People fight gang banging, and that's, that's about it. Sometimes someone will pull a gun, but they won't shoot it. So it's really not that kind of gang here. The Green Bay area has had a few high-profile gang-related incidents this year. Police say a fight outside Preble High School in February involved some people with gang ties. Two days after the Preble fight, police say one man was stabbed during a gang fight at a birthday party in Howard. We have gang members in the Green Bay metro area, um, absolutely. Lieutenant Gary Riggles is one of the supervisors for Green Bay's gang unit. We're not Chicago. We're not Milwaukee, but we do have gangs here, and I think that it would be ignorant on the part of the police and the, the stakeholders at large uh, to think that you can do nothing about it and that it would just go away. Green Bay police do have a relatively new approach when it comes to gangs. In the past, the department had one full-time gang officer, but that's not the case anymore. The department found it needed more officers to cover more shifts. So about four years ago, the department started a gang identification unit. Today, that unit has 15 members. This is not their full-time job. These are patrolmen. These are community police officers that have decided to sign up for extra training, to have signed up for to become specialists in identifi identification of gang um, members, uh, identification of graffiti. Coming up tonight on Fox 11 News at 9, we'll get into more details about gangs in the area. We'll also take a look at a report from the Wisconsin Department of Justice that came out a few years ago. That report found gangs to be a significant problem in the area, but now police have a different opinion. We'll have more on that hmm. tonight at 9. Interesting stuff. And interesting that you heard in that report, it's not Milwaukee, it's not Chicago, but what are the gangs really like in Green Bay? You know, the, the police and the former gang member that I talked to said that exact same thing. The one thing they agree on is that gangs are nothing like they are in bigger cities. You know, in bigger cities, you'll have gangs fighting over control of neighborhoods, trying to control the drug trade, and they don't downplay that. There certainly are gangs who are involved in criminal activity in Green Bay, but mostly police say the gangs here are pretty small or they're loosely affiliated and they're not as well organized as people might think. But we have more than six years ago. How big of a problem is it? Well, it really depends on who you ask because police are, are they're trying to walk a fine line with this because on one hand, they don't want to come out and make a huge deal out of gangs because, number one, they don't want to give them gangs that much credit. But they also want to scare people who live here into thinking there's this mm -hmm. massive problem. On the other hand, they don't want to put their head in the sand and pretend there's no problem because they know it's out there. So it's definitely something they are, they're trying to work on. We'll have more about how they're doing that tonight at 9. All right. Well, thank you, Robert. Yep.